Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Okay. Good afternoon. Okay, good afternoon. Welcome to your language class. Okay, please turn off your microphone, yeah? Okay, apagamos el micrófono. Please. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, so today we have our language class, second language class of the week, yeah? Okay, and we work on pages, in that case, 66, 67, and 68, yeah? Okay. So let's see. Excellent. Good morning, me. Good morning, Miss. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> okay, good afternoon. So let's see. Open your book, please. Tarde. No, that's okay. Yeah. Okay, hola, hola, hola. Hello, hola. Hello. hello. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's start page 66. Yes. Open your book. I hope that you enjoy your break, your lunch. Yes. Okay. Yes, <laughs> that's good. So let's see, let's start. In that case, we use commas, okay, to separate the part of a date. So in that page, we study another rule of commas, yeah? Okay, so let's see. Let's go to page, uh, let's go back. Page number, in that case, let me check, okay. Page number 40. Okay, in that page you have four rules of commas. Okay, page number 40. Let's review. Capitalize. Okay, this one capitalization rules. Capitalize the first word in every sentence. Okay, capitalize proper nouns. Okay, the days of the week and the month of the years. Capitalize holidays and special days. Okay, during this week, okay, we make a review of these different topics. And also we have commas. And in that case, remember, you use a comma for separating the city and the state. Yeah, okay. You use a comma after yes and after the word no. Yeah, okay. That's good. You use a comma in a series of nouns. Could be proper nouns, okay, places nouns, etc. Yeah, okay. And also you use a comma for separating the parts of a day. Similar of the examples that we write in our notebook, for example, okay. Let me share my screen with you. Okay, this part, excellent. So let's see. Okay, Monday, if you see, we have here Monday, comma, okay, September 18, comma, 2017. Yes, so in that case, the rule says, use commas to separate the parts of a date, yeah? So you write Monday, comma, September 18, comma, 2017, period. Okay, if this one is in a sentence, yeah? Okay, so let's see. Now, we practice, okay, writing the correspond commas, okay, to the words that we have here, yeah? Okay, so let's see. Listen, first of all, I mentioned your name and you write the letter P, okay, or maybe present. Voy a pasar asistencia. Mateo Castellón, Daniela Navas, Gabriel, Mario, Adrian, Jose Oliva, Okay, Matias, Jimena Enriquez, Mateo Salmerón, Jimena Vázquez, Ariana Hueso, Valeria Soriano, Aaron, Allison, Luisa Chinchilla, Lucas, Daniela Blandón, Julio César, Diana, Kay Polet, Alejandro Romero, Alejandro Mendoza. Okay, excellent. <clears throat> Thank you very much for being present. That's good. So let's see, first exercise. Exercise A, add all the necessary commas to the dates below, yeah? Okay, so let's see, let's start. Number one, May 18, 1903. Okay, when or in which part we place the comma? So let's see. Okay, Paulette, help me. 
my eighteen comma nineteen nineteen oh three yes okay May eighteen comma nineteen oh three excellent okay next one number two November twenty third nineteen sixty one okay Allison. I can do the third, the third. Ah, okay. So let's see. Give me the, the answer of the third one. Okay. A, in April, comma. Okay. Okay, comma. see the example. Ah, April, uh, um, one, comma. Ele okay. Comma. 11, April 11, 11. okay. 2000. 2018. 18, exactly. Okay, thank you, Alison. <laughs> Let's see. Nico, okay, tell me. Uh, you know, in April, and this day is, is my birthday. Okay, excellent. For that reason, you answer number three, yeah? <laughs> okay, that's good, Alison. So let's see. Next one, okay, Alejandro Romero, number two, November 23rd, 1961. In which November, part we place the comma? Uh, November 23rd, comma. Um, okay. 19. 19. 60. 1961. Excellent, okay. Gabriel, number four. February 14, 2019. Okay, excellent. February 14, 2019. Alejandro Mendoza, number five. Hi, Miss. Hi, okay. Thursday. January, comma, um, okay. Did you see the example here that is underlined in red? Okay, that's me. First one, we have a day, yeah. Thursday, okay. Thursday, okay. Thursday, comma, January, January. And first, first, comma, comma, okay, two thousand, two thousand and four, yeah, okay, thank you, Alejandro, excellent, okay, Jimena Enriquez, number five. Okay, Jimena, are you there? Okay, Luisa, help me, please. Okay, Wednesday. Okay. John, three, comma. Eighteen. Ninety. 98. Okay, 98, exactly. Sunday, June 3rd, okay, 1898. Okay, Jimena, it's your turn. Number five, Jimena Enriquez. Wednesday, August 27, 1969. Wednesday, comma, August. Okay, Wednesday, comma, uh-huh. 19, 19, 60, 69, 69, exactly, okay, Wednesday, August 27, comma, next in 69, excellent, okay, next one, let me check, um, let's see, Diana Marroquin, number eight, number eight, mm -hmm. um, Tuesday, June 9, okay. comma. Okay. 2020. 2020. 
Excellent. Okay. Thursday, comma, July 9th, comma, 2020. Okay. That's good. Let's see. Daniela Blendon, next one, number nine. The, sat the Saturday and March, the comma. Okay. So let's see. Saturday, we place a comma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. March. Okay. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Finish. Comma. Okay. <laughs> Two thousand. Two thousand. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Thank you, Daniela. Good. So let's see. Next one. The last one. Let's see in that part. Okay. Rudy, are you there? Hola, Miss. Hi, Rudy. Okay, the last one, number 10. Mm, October. Okay, October 20. 20. 23rd. 23rd. Okay, comma. 20. 19, 19, 47, 47. Okay, thank you, Rudy. Good. So let's see. If you see, we use comma to separate the part of a day. Okay, so you have the day of a week, you write com. September 18, you write com. Yes, and then the geo. Okay, excellent. So I think it's part is clear this part. Yeah, okay, that's good. Let's continue. Okay, look closely. A concluding sentence. This one is another topic, yeah? A concluding sentence finishes a paragraph by telling, okay, the readers what the paragraph was about. It gives the same information in the topic sentence, but uses different words, okay? Remember, yesterday we discussed about the main idea or the topic sentence, but in that case, we discussed about the concluding sentence. Okay, according to the information says that the concluding sentence is at the end of the paragraph, al final del paragraph. Yes, okay, and this one gives the same information that the topic sentence. Nos da la misma información que una oración de inicio, yeah? Okay, but we find this one at the end of the paragraph. Okay, for example, read the topic sentences and write a good concluding sentence for each one. Okay, so we read these four sentences and we try to create a new one for, uh, let me see, for writing the ending. Okay, vamos a crear una para escribirle el final. Yes? Okay, for example, number one, my favorite outdoor activity is camping. Okay. This one is the first sentence. My favorite outdoor activity is camping. What is the activity that we talk about? What is the activity that we mention in that sentence? ¿Qué actividad mencionamos en esta oración? Camping. Okay, camping. camping. Exactly. Okay, so we start. Then. Okay, we start the next sentence with that word. And we can say. Okay, camping is a fun activity, yeah? Okay, we can say that. Camping is a fun activity, okay? We can say my favorite outdoor activity is camping. Camping is a fun activity, yes? Okay, and we are referring to the same thing. Nos referimos a lo mismo, al mismo tema, okay? Good. Next one, number two. We should have a class pet. Shell. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, we talk about what? ¿De quién estamos hablando? Pet. Okay. Pet. Okay, of a pet. Okay, exactly. We talk about pet. So that's mean we start the next sentence with that word. And we can say, okay, a pet. Mm -hmm. A 
is is presented uh, okay let me change in that part my pet is presenting to the class mi mascota es presentada a la clase ok so we should have a class pet vamos a tener una clase de mascotas yes ok so let's see this one is the sentence, yeah? Because remember, we talk about, okay, pet. Now, number three, flamingos are interesting birds. We talk about what? ¿De quién estamos hablando? Flamingos are interesting birds. Ah, okay, flamingos. So you give me a sentence that is referring to flamingos. Okay, flamingos are interesting birds. So we can say, we can start one more time with this one. Flamingos, and you give me one idea. Let me an idea. Okay, flamingos are pink. Exactly. Okay. Flamingos are interesting birds. Flamingos are pink. Good. Okay. Number four. I have the kindest friend. We talk about what? Friend. Okay. Friend. Exactly. Okay. So right now think about a sentence that includes friend. Friend. Okay. Best okay. friend. Your friend is beautiful. Okay, friend. Okay, let's combine the sentence. Friends are good for all of us. Come, because they are. Okay, no, short sentence, yeah? No long sentence, only short sentence, okay? Friends are good for all of us. I have the kindest friend, okay? Or as the example that you said, yeah? Okay, for example, Carla is my best friend. I have the kindest friend, Carla is my best friend, yeah? Okay, that's good. So you understand this part, yes? Okay, let me check, I can close this one. Okay, let me see. I show you one more time. Okay, I'm sorry. Ah, okay. Flamingos are amazing. Yes, Jimena is my best friends. Good. Okay, yes, you know, this one are some ideas. Okay, excellent. <coughs> I'm sorry. Tell me. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Friends are good for all of us. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Alison, do you have a question? No. No, okay, Christopher, do you have a question? No, okay. Thank you, Miss. Okay. Ariana is my best friend, excellent. Daniel and Allison are my best friends, good. <laughs> okay, do you see, you have a lot of ideas. Excellent. Okay, so let's continue. Now, page 66, and in that case, we we'll remember one more time, commas. Okay, use commas to separate the part of a date. Okay, Thursday, September, and the year. Yeah, when a date is given in a sentence, place a comma after the year. Okay, so check, this one is important. Place a comma after the year. Two, unless the date comes at the end of the sentence. Okay, and we have two examples here. On Saturday, comma, October 3rd, comma, in 1963, comma, okay, Abraham Lincoln declared a day of Thanksgiving. 
Ok. La regla nos dice que cuando usted tiene una fecha en una oración, usted va a colocar coma después del año para continuar con la oración. Yes. Ok. Abraham Lincoln declared a date of Thanksgiving on Saturday, comma, October 3rd, 18, 1863. Pero también la regla nos dice que si la fecha está al final, entonces nosotros no colocamos coma antes de la oración. Ok. It's clear this part? Yes. Ok. Let's see. Now let's start. For example, okay, this one. Rimp is an important ingredient in a Luciana dish called, okay, jambalaya. Okay, they call in that form, jambalaya. The rimp are shaped just like commas. Draw a rimp in each place, a comma is necessary in the sentence below. Yeah, okay, compara a un camarón, okay, con una coma. Entonces le vamos a dibujar un camarón a cada una de estas oraciones, okay? A, a tiny shrimp, okay? Un pequeño camarón. When we receive an invitation on December 27, 2019, I was very excited, okay? So, first one, we draw the first shrimp, December 27, we draw in that part, yeah? Okay, 2019, we draw another one here, yes? Okay, usted se los va a dibujar bien bonitos, ¿sí? Ok, tiny shrimp. Le va a dibujar unos pequeños camarones aquí, parecidos a una coma. Ok. Similar to this one. Ok. I box. Se lo voy a encerrar en una caja. Ok. Similar a este, se lo va a dibujar usted. Ok. Teacher, I have a question. Ok, what is your question? Es mis fíjate que en mi libro uh -huh. ahí aparece eh, 27 de 2019 y en mi libro aparece el 13 y ah eh, ok eh, ajá, aparece un número diferente ok vamos a ver léame la oración ok once Tomen will friends turn round no April um fourteen. Ajá, okay. Estamos en el ejercicio estamos, de abajo. Estamos en la página sesenta y siete. Okay, pues, vale. Sí. Okay. Estoy en este. Es que es el ejercicio de arriba, vale. Think A. Ok. Vea esa parte donde le estoy marcando. Es el ejercicio A. Bueno, por eso un camaroncito en pequeñito. Sí. Ok. ¿Tiene el ejercicio A? Sí. Ah, okay. Es, que, okay. es que a mí como se me había trabado. Ah, ok. Perfecto, Valeria. Está bien. Pero gracias por decirme, ¿sí? Ok, muy bien, continuamos. Number two, my aunt and uncle invited us to dinner on Wednesday, January, ok, first 2020. In that case, ok, my aunt and uncle invited us to dinner on Wednesday, yes, ok, we draw a little shrimp in that part. I tried to draw it, yeah, but it's not possible. <laughs> ok, January 1st, then in that part. Estoy intentando dibujárselo, pero no me sale. Yeah, but you can do it very well. Okay, excellent. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Okay, number three. Okay, show me. Ah, okay, excellent, Luisa. Carter's piano recital was Friday. Okay, that's good, beautiful. Ok, was Friday, March 30, 2018. Ok, so Carter's Piano Recital was Friday. We have a day. So we draw in the spar a shrimp. Ok, March 30. Ok, in that case we draw another one here. Yeah. Ok, 2018. 
Okay. It's not possible. I can't draw. <laughs> okay, what you do exactly? Yeah. Difícil, ah, yes. Okay, and I don't have enough space. Okay, February 6, 2015 was my great grandmother's 90th birthday. Okay, so in that case, February 6, so you draw in that part, 2015, comma, yeah, was my great grandmother's. 90th birthday. Okay. You draw others too, yeah? Okay, number five. Tell me, Jimena. Okay, excellent. The last one. Tell me. Monday, comma, February, and in 15, 15, 2021. Okay. No, no school. Okay, excellent. On Monday, February 15, 2021, we have no school. Okay, excellent. So let's see. I give you one minute, yeah, for finishing drawing this part. Yeah, okay. As Alisa said, it's kind of difficult to draw a shrimp in that part, yeah? Because we don't have enough space for drawing. Okay, excellent. That's good. I finish. Okay, excellent. So let's see, let's wait I some seconds. I finish. Okay, please, only raise your hand if you finish, yeah? Finish. Okay, that's good. Yes. Okay, let me see, let's continue. Okay, now part B. Write a sentence telling when your birthday is. Okay, so you write the day of your birthday. Yeah, for example. Okay, so you start with my birthday is on. Okay, then you write the month of the year. January, remember the month of the year. You write with capital letter. Okay, is on January. Okay, in that case, 20. You say that. Okay, period. My birthday is on January 20. Okay, if you can write a day of the, of the week, Monday, Tuesday, yes, you can do it. My birthday is on Monday. We can write this part. Yeah, Monday, comma, January 20. Yes, it is, is it possible. Okay, the thing is that you apply the rule. Okay, maybe you say my birthday is on April, okay, Tuesday, comma, April 11th. Yeah, it's possible. My birthday is on uh, Saturday, comma, June 30. Yeah, okay. That's good. Okay, excellent. Let's see. Okay, now we use the proofreader's marks to add all the necessary commas to the following sentences. And in that case, we apply all the rules that we have already learned, yeah? Okay, so let's see. Was St. Thomas Jefferson born on April 13, 1743 in Virginia? Okay, so let's see. Was Saint Thomas Jefferson born on April 13, comma, 1743 in Virginia? That's all. We only write one comma. Yes? Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Mateo. Okay. So let's see. Number two. On July 4th, 1776, America declare its independence. Okay, so let's see. In that case, Mateo Estrada, help me. In which part I write a comma? Hello, Miss. Hello. Uh, on July 4th, uh, uh, 
for okay. in, this. in this part. Excellent. On July 4th, comma, 1776. Okay. That's comma. good. Yes. That's all. Okay. So, right. Uh, Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Next one. Aaron, number three. Thomas Jefferson was selected president of the United States on February 17, 1801. In which part I write a comma? Good afternoon, Miss. Good afternoon, Aaron. Mm. Okay, you have the date here, yeah? February 17. Ah, okay, coma. <laughs> okay, coma. Yeah, it's the same in Spanish, yes? Okay, coma, 1801. Thank you, Aaron. Okay, he and John Adams both died on July 4th, okay? 1826. In that case, we write here, coma, yeah? Okay, July 4th. Next one. The Martins left on their vacation on July 29, 2024. So in that case, we write July 29. By July 31st, 2024, they were in Washington. Okay, July 31st. On Monday, comma, August 5th, comma, 2024, they visited Monticello, Thomas Jefferson's home. Yeah? Okay. So, and that's all in that part. Yes? Please, okay. I have a question. Okay, what is your question? Es que quiero que me traduzca algo. Okay, tell me. <laughs> eh, la sexta... Oración de esa parte. Ah, ok. Que está en el futuro. Ah, ok. So let's see by July 31st. This one? Mm -hmm. Ok. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Por julio 31 del 2024, ok, ellos fu irán o fueron a Washington o estarán en Washington. Ok. En realidad, ese es un ejemplo, ¿ok? Pero si decimos they were, ellos estuvieron en Washington, ¿ok? Es como una suposición, ¿sí? Mm. Podemos decir que es una suposición, ¿de acuerdo? Ah, ok. Ok. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. So, let's see, now. Le dije algo va a pasar aquí. <laughs> ok, that's good. Mateo Estrada, es como lo que decimos que éramos en 2025 Yes, uh -huh. Ok, it's like a prediction, ok, como una predicción, ¿verdad? Ok, excellent, thank you. So let's see, read the following paragraph about American Samoa. Ok, let's discover what is American Samoa, yeah. American Samoa is a group of islands in the Pacific Ocean, ok, that's mean, this one are islands. It is a territory of the United States. Most people in American Samoa speak Samoan, but many also understand and speak English. Visitors to these islands enjoy beautiful beaches, green valleys, lush rainforests, and busy village. Some visitors snorkel in the clear waters near the coral reef. Can you imagine how many colorful fish they see? The people who live on these islands have some special rules about good manners called Fa Samoa. Okay, here are some good manner rules of America Samoa. Don't eat, do not eat or drink while walking through a village. Okay, imagine this one is a rule. Children should, should show respect for adults. If you wish to speak to someone who is sitting down, you should also sit down. Above all, be kind and courteous to all, ¿ok? If you see this one as some rule, reglas, nosotros podemos aplicarlas también, ¿ok? No comer y beber mientras usted camina en, el, en, el, en la ciudad. 
Los niños deben demostrar respeto a los adultos. Si usted desea hablar con alguien, debe sentarse a la par de esta persona. Ok, pero sobre todo debe de ser amable y respetuoso o cortés. Ya, yeah? ok, this one of some rules in this island. Ok, American Samoa. Ok, so let's see, what is the exercise that we developed in that part? So find the following kinds of noun from the paragraph above. And, ok, we write them in the squares below. That means we have these squares. We have red squares and blue squares. Ok, number one. Find four common nouns in this paragraph. Ok, you tell me four common nouns. Raise your hand. Four common nouns. Okay, Christopher Amaya, and then Daniela Navas. Okay, nombres comunes. Okay, Christopher, you are the first one. Okay, so let's see. Daniela Navas, give me nouns, common nouns. Um, ice cream. Okay, ice cream, yes. Um, um, uh, food. Okay, food, yeah. Um, pen. Okay, what else? Um, um, <laughs> okay, okay, thank you, Danny. Okay, but the rest of says this one, okay? Fishes, okay. Christopher, give me one common noun. Number común that you find in the paragraph. We have the, a lot. The, uh, um, Okay, then I give you a participation, yes? Okay, Jimena Enriquez, give me one. I want... Um, okay. I want a um, visitor. Okay, visitors, yes. We write more, yeah? Okay, so let's see now. Let's Church. see, fine. Okay, tell me, Alison. Okay, yes, exactly. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's go number four. Find three proper nouns. Three proper nouns. Remember, a proper noun begins with a capital letter, yeah? So you give me three proper nouns. Okay, right in the chat, proper nouns. Okay. Okay. Teacher, I have a Down. question. Okay, what is your question? Dígame. Um, ¿Cuántas páginas vamos a realizar hoy? Esta es la última, tres. Ah. Okay, so let's see American Samoa, yeah. Okay. okay words that you find in the, in the paragraph, okay. Que le encuentren las palabras, okay. Que encuentren el párrafo. En la lectura que acabamos de leer, usted me tiene que decir. Ok. United States, American Samoa. Ok. Pacific Ocean. Yes. Ok. Excellent. Thank you. That's good. Ok. This one are proper nouns. Yes. Ok. Let me clear this part. Next one, okay, number two. Yo voy a copiar la última, la última palabra. Okay, wait. Ya se lo voy a decir, ¿de acuerdo? Okay. Pacific Ocean, okay. Find two singular nouns. Dos nombres singulares. That means you talk about only one thing. Right in the chat. Okay. Territory. Yeah, this is one. You talk about only one. And also, okay, okay, nos vamos a quedar hasta aquí, vamos a seguir completando el día de mañana, de acuerdo, okay.